Welcome back guys, I got my mod sticks recently put in on my controller and so I figured I'd do an overview just to give you know everyone an idea of what they are what they're used for and sort of give my kind of review of the details and basically what you can do to your controller to make things a little bit easier for you so I got kind of sick and tired of having the regular sticks on there which are just rubber based sticks because I play quite a bit and you know they wear out so and, you know it's kind of a pain in the butt to go out and replace them every now and then you gotta open up your controller and you gotta order them and it just takes forever so the mod sticks that you see right here are actually aluminum so they're not gonna wear out on you and they you know the quality the build quality is really great and plus something else you might notice on here is actually they've got this really nifty little stick on the d-pad and this stick makes it significantly easier to access things like weapons if you're a first person shooter player and if you are playing fighting games it just makes it that much easier to toggle the d-pad now something else that's really key for um, those of you guys playing FPS is if you notice actually this stick right here is quite tall and it's significantly taller than your average controller so if you can see the stick on the left it's not quite as tall it's still taller than a regular controller but not quite uh, not quite as much so what's basically significant about this is the fact that when you're playing something like Halo or Call of Duty and you want to play at a higher sensitivity you can actually pull off some great shots using these simply because you've got extra accuracy now because of the taller stick so that's one of the neat features here now what a lot of people have problems with um, when it comes to reviewing these is the fact that if you look at it, despite the fact that it's got a little ridge on the side, the sticks are metal, so your fingers tend to slip on them, but nobody ever really talks about the fact that you can actually go out and purchase uh, spray-on rubber grip. Now, the spray-on rubber grips, basically, it's just like spray paint. You know, you go out, you get it, you spray it on the top of the sticks, and you're good to go. I'm going to do that with mine uh, a little bit later on, and then I'll come back and do a video on that and see how it goes. But basically, I've done that before to get some grip on my long board. So, you know, I figured it's going to be the same thing. And to be quite honest, my fingers, like, they don't slip nearly as much as a lot of people say. So it's not really that big of a problem. Now, as far as what you get in the kit, as you can see, you've got this T, uh, T8, T I believe, Torx screwdriver. I might have said that wrong. I'll, uh, I'll change it if it was. But... The cool thing here is that it actually comes with a little chuck right here and an Allen wrench so that you can open the chuck up and then you have basically got your little regular screwdriver bit that you can put in here and that allows you to take the controller apart really easy and actually access uh, all the stuff that you need. Now I had a little problem with mine when installing the D-pad because the default screws that actually came with my controller fit the d-pad that's on here better than the ones that came with the mod sticks kit and so that was you know it took me a little while to get that settled in there but most people don't actually have this issue so it probably won't be the case for you uh, something else I noticed is that my <clears throat> chuck in the bit did not open that easily so the uh, the screwdriver that I got was not too helpful for me but I've got these guys right here so you know I've got a fairly decent kit for modding and controller now the sticks themselves, you can actually adjust the height quite significantly. I mean, you've got different adjustments here. You've got a medium, a long, and what I've got in there is actually a really small, small little bit set screw. And so you can put these in yourself and adjust the height as needed. And you've got different little spacers that come in the kit as well. And so far, you know, I've had the controller for, I want to say about a week right now, in this modded state, and it's been doing great, so... I'll do uh, a little game review, or in-game review, I guess, a little bit later on, so you can see what it's actually like in a gameplay session. But so far, I'm loving these, and for those of you guys that have, like, a PlayStation 3, they also actually come out with kits that do the same thing, so you can go ahead and purchase yourself a set of these for your PlayStation, and you won't have to worry about replacing your sticks a little bit down the road. Now, something else to keep in mind is that these guys actually also make triggers for the controller now my triggers I haven't ordered them yet I'm probably going to within the next couple of weeks but the idea is that 
They're aluminum triggers, so again, they're really nice, good build quality. But they also come with different sets of springs, and the springs have different tensions. So you can, you know, you can pull off shots easier, or you know, if you don't like the tension on the controller as it is stock, you can actually adjust it. And what's great too is that they also come with like basically a little, a little trigger stop that you can buy as well, and that'll help you essentially do the same thing that you can do with a scuff controller, except that again the trigger stops are completely adjustable, so you will be able to take them in, you know, put them in. I mean, take them out on a whim, so you don't have to worry about you know, having a trigger stop in there like permanently and that way you can actually go ahead and play like racing games, you can play other games that you don't have to pull off like big fancy shots or anything like that and once I get my triggers I'll do another little overview of the sticks as well and the finish so far is great, I think the dark sticks look really nice on a white controller uh, this controller I've had since about 2006 so it's fairly old but you know running great so I haven't had any problems with it so far and then you can see the little mod sticks logo on there and again if you have old sticks and you just want to replace it with something really good this is definitely the way to go I'd highly recommend them you can check them out at mod sticks you know just search for modsticks.com on google and you should be able to come across this so have fun hopefully you guys enjoy the video so leave me a like and subscribe and I'd highly recommend the sticks I'll see you guys in my next video